Hi. I'm Skip Johnson. It's good to see you. I miss seeing you guys at school. But uh, today, I wanted to kind of be in the chapel. This is where we usually have chapel, where you come for chapel for your teachers. And Miss Catherine, they teach you and they sing. And I wanted to do chapel here and tell you a Bible story as well. Yes, and my friend, this is Lenny. And Lenny wanted to come and hear the story as well. He often says, hey, to you in the mornings. So he wanted to come and be with me when I told the story. You ready? Okay. Well, Paul and Silas are two people in the New Testament. And they were traveling in a city called Philippi. Philippi, you see it? Philippi, Philippi, right. Philip, Philippi, right. And so they were walking down the streets and they were telling people about Jesus. They were singing songs. They were kind of teaching people about God. But it kind of interfered with a lot of the business going on. And so the people came up to Silas and to Paul. They said, don't do that anymore. Well, they kept doing it. And so they had them arrested. Yes, they were arrested, which means they took them to the jail. And they said, you can't tell those stories anymore. No, and you can't sing anymore or pray. Yes, you can't do those things. And they told the guard at the jail, you are to take Silas and Paul down into the very center of your jail, into the part that's the strongest. And when you get there, I want you to lock them up really good and you make sure they don't escape because if they escape, you are going to be in big trouble. Yeah, that's what they told the guard. And so they went into the jail and they put them in there. And when they got to this jail cell, they put chains on their arms. And they put chains on their feet. So they couldn't move. They couldn't move at all. No. And they just had to sit there. And then they closed the door. Clang. But you know what? What? Paul and Silas never got frightened. They never got scared. They just sat there and they prayed. And when it got dark, they began to sing hymns and sing songs about Jesus. And then they started praying out loud and telling stories to other prisoners all about Jesus. And they did this all into the night until at midnight, at midnight, suddenly there was a roar. And an earthquake came and it started rumbling the whole building. And everything was shaking and shaking and shaking and shaking like you. Whoa, stop, Lenny. And then the doors to the jail opened wide. And the chains around their hands and their feet, they fell off. And it was clear all the way out to the outside. And the jailer, the guard, when he heard all this going on, he thought to himself, oh no, they've escaped. I'm in big trouble now. And so he went into the jail and he thought, oh, they're gone now. How terrible. Something horrible is going to happen. And guess what? Paul and Silas were sitting in their room in the jail and they weren't moving. And they said, oh, hey, guard, listen, we didn't want you to get in trouble So we thought we'd wait here for you. The other prisoners are all waiting too. We're not going to escape. And the guard looked at them and he said, you would do that for me? You would help me? Sure, because we want to tell you all about Jesus. So the guard invited them to come to his house. And there he told the, he he introduced them to his family and they had dinner together. And then Paul and Silas talk to everyone about Jesus and how wonderful Jesus was, how Jesus wanted to be their friend. And the guard, he began believing in God in a new way. And Paul and Silas went on out into the city and they went right on as they traveled, telling people all about Jesus and God. And that's the story about Paul and Silas, how they trusted God. And prayed when they were scared. They never really got scared. And sang. And helped other people learn all about Jesus. So you should help people too. Tell people about Jesus. Thank you. I can't wait to see you when you get back here to school. Bye bye.